cold, fast, and as unforgiving as the mythological creatures they take their name from. The wretched Wyvern's history is a dark stain that shall never be forgotten by the likes of the Blood Angels and the Wyvern's predecessors, the Carnosaurs. Internal degradation and conflict in the Carnosaurs led to half the chapter falling to chaos, under the manipulations of the tech chaplain Stegos. The traitors attempted to erect and activate a chaos warp to release a Zinchian demon prince named Baphomet, the very demon that had consumed Stegos and led half the chapter failing with him. The loyalists of the chapter fought nearly to the brink of defeat, but a unit of Grey Knights was sent to stop the demonic incursion, successfully breaking the back of the traitors. The traitors that survived stole gene seed from the weakened apothecarium, as well as kidnapping a large portion of the recruits and scouts, including several lexicaniums, codicias, and such from the librarium. The carnosaurs were unable to stop them from fleeing, and spent 30 standard years trying to locate the missing recruits and traitors. The traitors that fled themselves fell into a chaotic mess of sorts, with many of them falling to the four gods. Each of the four gods had their own corrupted carnosaurs worshipping them, taking their share of the stolen recruits. The vessel of the slanesh oriented carnosaurs began heading to a planet named Mendez. An uneasy alliance between the four fragments had been agreed. They would work together to bring Baphomet to the material realm. Baphomet appeared as a god of many faces, a true chaos undivided demon prince that drew energies from all the main gods. The Slaneshi were heading to Mendez to sacrifice their cache of kidnapped recruits and subjected the psychers to torture and brutality in attempts to break them and make them easier to convert. It reached a peak when the recruits having endured all the abuse and still remained fastidiously loyal decided to use the Slaneshi's habits against them, waiting for when the traitor marines would be occupied with worship of their god. The Slaneshis were destroyed by a psychic barrage before they could react, and the very loyalists they captured ended up being their executioners. But when they tried to contact their brothers, the Carnosaurs, they were met with violence. The Carnosaurs had written them off as dead. The fact that they were alive was too great a risk of chaos infiltration again. The kidnapped recruits and scouts were abandoned, and were forced to become their own entity, using the captured gene seed of the Carnosaurs hoarded by the traitors to add to their ranks. Other traitors still existed, with even more captured brothers. The Wyverns vowed to hunt down the traitors and slaughter them all, to prevent the demon prince Baphomet from being brought into the material realm, as well as to prove themselves to their parent chapter, as well as kill any traitors that came their way. Their fall from grace fully happened because of Scylla Drago killing a Grey Knight in a psychotic episode brought about by the trauma. Though Drago mourned the death of the Grey Knight, the Inquisition saw it as evidence of treason labelling the Wyverns as traitors, beginning their evolution into what they are today. As a reminder of his actions, Drago wears the Aegis armour of the Grey Knight, using the angered machine spirit's resistance to his command as a method of keeping focused, believing the pain he feels would keep him vigilant so as to not fall to the ruinous powers that haunted him. The Grey Knights have vowed to kill him for the act, and since then, the Wyverns and the Grey Knights have become bitter rivals and enemies. Isolated, antisocial, and extremely wound up and tense, their loyalty to the Emperor is considered close to the level seen in pre-heresy wordbearers. Because of being treated like little more than traitors by the Inquisition, they see anyone with a kind word to the Inquisition as an enemy, including the Grey Knights. Towards human populations, though, they are friendly. The Wretched Women's biggest flaw, however, seems to be their violent behaviour. Despite their violence, there are no indications of them attacking civilian ships. They are rather caring for the humans, and willing to sell their services as a vanguard for some ships in the outer regions of the Imperium in exchange for supplies. Though few, there have been brothers that have become maddened by the Black Rage and Red First, the curse appearing in stages. The initial infliction appears much like how the Blood Angels behave and appear when under the effects of the curse, being starved for blood and battle. The longer they are consumed, the more savage they become, going from brutal but intelligent killers with some way to control them to more wolfen-like animal behaviour. Brothers that are in danger of going beyond this stage are killed before they transform into beasts. They also carry in their gene seed the traits for cat-like eyes, as well as fangs that are both long enough to resemble space wolf fangs, but also hold venom that rots its victim alive from the inside out. However, the Wyverns are not immune to their own venom, and they only dare use their fangs in close combat situations or when trying to escape capture.